Hi, my name is Melissa Daniels and I have two eye conditions, strabismus and amblyopia. Strabismus is an eye turn, so when your eyes are not pointing in the same direction. Amblyopia is when you have one or both eyes that is significantly weaker and it isn't able to see as well, even with glasses. So a lot of times these two conditions go hand in hand and sometimes they don't, but today I wanna to talk about how patching can or cannot be effective in treating a lazy eye. And when I say a lazy eye, that is actually amblyopia. That's kind of the slang term for amblyopia, uh, even though a lot of people think it means an eye turn. So whatever, F for this video, we're gonna say a lazy eye is an eye that doesn't work as well. So an amblyopic eye. Now, if you want any of my free resources, go to learn.strabismussolutions.com and I've got a couple quizzes that you can take about how your eyes are working and you can understand a little bit more about whether you have amblyopia. I mean, the best thing you can do is go to a doctor, an ophthalmologist or an optometrist and they can help you. But if you wanna do a quick quiz, you can find that at learn.strabismussolutions.com. So can patching help with amblyopia or lazy eye? Of course, the answer is always it depends. There's so many different variables that are going on. So I'm gonna talk about three different types of amblyopia that you can have, and these are the three most common types. You can have refractive amblyopia, and that's just when you your eyes are maybe straight, but one eye has 20-20 vision and the other eye maybe has like 2200 vision. And so the brain just kind of ignores the eye with the really bad vision and uses the eye with the good vision. And even with glasses, that vision in that eye can't be corrected to better than 2200. And sometimes glasses can help get it to like 2100 or something like that, but still that eye is just weak and cannot be corrected with glasses. Okay, so that's refractive amblyopia. You can also have deprivation amblyopia, and that's if you maybe have like a cataract and it's completely blocking the vision in one eye and so it becomes really weak. And so because it was deprived of seeing, it becomes super weak or amblyopic. Um, the other option that is really common is strabismic amblyopia. And that is when your eyes aren't pointing in the same direction. And so the brain is getting two different images, one image from the left eye and one image from the right eye and they don't match, right? With normal straight eyes, the brain's getting those two images and they're the same thing and they match and they put it together and you get stereopsis. But with strabismus, they're not pointing the same way so you start getting double vision, right? You're seeing two different things, it's double. So the brain's like, I don't like that and it shuts off the vision in one eye. And over time, this causes that eye that's being ignored to become amblyopic or, or you know, the vision is really poor, the movements are kind of messed up, the whole thing can be just kind of a mess. So you can kind of have different ways of getting amblyopia, but a lot of times you're gonna get the same results. Eventually, the amblyopic eye is just going to become weaker and weaker and weaker. It can even go blind. A lot of times the eye will, the brain will turn that eye out or in so that it's easier to ignore a double image or you know, if it's super different acuity in those eyes, it can be really hard to combine those and so it's easier to just move it to the side so that it can ignore that blurry image. So the question is, can patching solve all of that? <laughs> there are five main problems that potentially need to be fixed with amblyopia. So first, just the visual acuity, right? Like making it so that you can have 20-20 vision in both eyes, that's important you know, can patching help with that. Second, you want to improve that weak eye's ability to not just like see clearly when reading a chart, but to move smoothly, to be able to jump, to read and then jump to the next line. Can it focus appropriately? Um, and all, there's like 17 visual skills, right? So acuity is one of them, but all of those other visual skills. Um, three, you wanna prevent your eye from going blind. That's kind of a big deal. Another one that a lot of people is if that eye is turning, they want the eyes to become straight. That can be a problem with amblyopia. And then last, they wanna teach those eyes to work together so that you can have stereopsis or 3D vision. Okay, so you've got those five different main problems or issues that most people are concerned about when they have amblyopia. So let's talk about how patching can help each one of those categories or not help. So first, 
Can patching improve the acuity? And yes, definitely. There are countless studies that show that if you cover the strong eye and force the amblyopic eye to work, it will improve. Now, there's variance in how much it'll improve or how long it takes to improve, but in every study, it's like 100% of the people have improvement. It just is kind of a matter of how much. Um, another thing that might be a concern is just the the abilities of that eye. You know, you think of it like your legs, like pat, acuity would be like, does is there muscle tone? I guess that's not really the same, but you know, imagine it's just the muscle tone in your leg. But then there's so much more like, can it coordinate with your other leg? Can it kick? Can it do all these different things, right? Not just have muscle tone. And so that's what I'm talking about with like all these other visual skills like tracking and um, processing and focusing. Patching can definitely help with those things too. In vision therapy, um, where you're training those eyes, it's a little bit more of an intensive um, and like all-inclusive treatment for amblyopia. They definitely use patching to work on those visual skills in both eyes actually. So yes, definitely patching can help with that. Third, can it prevent an eye from going blind? Totally, right? If you keep using both eyes and you force the weak eye to work, it's going to um, stop it from becoming blind. I mean, of course, there's certain diseases and things where there are always exceptions for it. Like the most people, if they have amblyopia, if they patch, it will prevent blindness. So I guess that means you would always have a spare. Okay, so now where patching has its limitations is when it comes to getting your eyes to become straight, right? The reason the eyes aren't straight is because the brain doesn't know how to use both eyes or there's a muscle problem, right? There's, there's a few different reasons, but it's not all because the eye is weak. Now, there are cases, of course, there's exceptions to every rule. Like I have a neighbor who started getting strabismus when she was like first grade and she got glasses and did some patching and her eyes became straight with the glasses and patching and she was fine. But usually that won't happen without the glasses too. Just patching alone, especially for an adult, definitely patching is not going to make your eyes become straight. But yes, sometimes for like little kids, if it's a refractive amblyopia, sometimes patching can help make the eyes straight. But not as often. Usually patching is not going to fix an eye turn, especially if it's an inward eye turn um, with little kids, maybe an outward eye turn more often. Um, but the idea is if the brain doesn't know how to use both eyes together, it's not going to want them to be straight. Even if both eyes have 20-20 vision and you do all the patching and your acuity is perfect and your visual skills are perfect, if your brain doesn't know how to take those two perfect images and mesh them together, it's gonna be pretty pointless. So straight eyes sometimes. And then improving stereopsis is gonna be kind of similar to making your eyes straight. If you have a less severe form of strabismus, like I was saying before, like with my neighbor and the refractive amblyopia, improve, patching improved the acuity in her weak eye, made then she was able to start using her eyes together again because she could before. She was able to start using them again and it made her stereo vision better. Now, did it get it all the way there? No, vision therapy definitely like helped to get the rest of the way, but patching got a good start. So those are the five main issues that people have with amblyopia and patching can definitely help, especially with the first couple with improving acuity and visual skills. And sometimes in some like more moderate cases, it can improve stereo vision and the straightness of the eyes when combined with glasses. But if you are wanting to completely fix and you're thinking of lazy eye in terms of an eye turn and you want that to go away, Patching is not the answer for you. It might be part of the solution, but it is not gonna help you get all the way there. I patched for six months when I had, um, when I was 31 and I had a very severe eye turn and I patched for six months, five hours a day. <clears throat> and I saw huge improvements with my acuity. Um, my peripheral vision improved, my, like the, the skills in that week, I definitely improved. My eye turn did not change one degree. 
if anything, it became more obvious in my opinion. Um, was it a definite like good part of the process? Yes, but it definitely did not make my eyes straight. And I think that's important for people to understand because they think, well, I patched when I was little and that seemed to help. So I must need to patch as an adult. And that's not the case. Um, what will really make a difference if you want your eyes to become straight is working on your brain, getting both eyes to work together. And that can be done with vision therapy. And that is a whole nother video. I have tons of information about vision therapy. If you want to start vision therapy and you need help finding an office, just go to strabismussolutions.com slash findvt and you can just fill out the form and I will email you options that are close to you. And if you don't have any options close to you, I'll talk, you know, I have some different virtual options that um, I can share with you. So there is a hope if you have a lazy eye or strabismus and you want your eyes to be straight and working together, there are so many answers. And will patching be part of it? Maybe, definitely like they use a lot of patching and vision therapy when combined with specific exercises but patching on its own is not going to get you all the way there. So good luck with your journey. Let me know how it goes and I will see you in the next video.